right. Well, thank you, connectors. I feel like I'm going to be talking a lot today. So um, thank you for bearing with me and giving me the privilege uh, to tell you a little bit about myself and a little bit about what I do. Um, first of all, who's Jason? Well, I'm a born and bred Chicago boy. Bears, Cubs, uh, diehard uh, fans of both of those. Fly that W, baby. Um, like she said, you know, my family's real important to me. I've got a small family. It's my parents and my brother. They all live here in the valley. I've recruited them all from across the country to come here. Um, and then my beautiful fiance, Annalise, we are getting married in October. So <laughs> I, I'm a proud Eagle Scout because uh, when I grew growing up, it, it instilled a very strong uh, community uh, driven uh, professionalism for me and I think that part of any good or any person should be to really be involved in the community um, whether it's a charity whether it's helping people less fortunate it's something I've carried with me my entire life and I continue to do today and one of the things you are going to be hearing about from me over the next coming years is the lupus uh, it is uh, something that has become close to uh, the family so please uh, reach out to me and I will be happy to fill you in on all of that but why I do what I do what gets me out of bed in the morning? Because that's you know who I am, I guess, where I come from. But really what makes me passionate is I love to travel, I love the outdoors, and I love spending time with friends and family. Um, and so I, I want to do work and, and get to the point where I'm able to do that, and I get to take that into my career as well, where I get to help people talk about what their dreams are, help protect them, uh, and so on. So at the end of the day, what are we here for? Has anyone ever heard this question before? What do you do? So we all talk about what do we do, um, and so let me tell you what I do. Because um, we do things a little bit differently than most other agencies in the Valley. We work with people one-on-one -on -one to make sure that we, they're managing their everyday risks. What was that, Tom? Oh, thank you for asking. What the heck does that mean? Well, perfect. <laughs> thank you for, for bringing that up. And not only let me tell you what that is, but let me show you. An example of what we do, uh, I have a client named John. Last year, John was driving home from work um, into his neighborhood like he had done hundreds and hundreds of times before. John unfortunately took the turn. It was raining out, which was not an average day in Arizona, and somebody was rushing to get across the street before the light changed. John unfortunately hit this person. Thank God that they were okay. But unfortunately, there were some injuries, loss of work, and recovery and surgeries. John was sued for $850,000. I don't have $850,000 in my account and neither did John. But don't worry about John, guys. John is our client. He had come in to with, meet with us two years before this when he came over from another company. And we sat down and talked to him about his world, what it looks like, where the holes in his protection were. And we set up a p policies that helped him get peace of mind, knowing no matter that what happened over here, he's protected over here. Well, fast forward back to that claim last year. He called me frantic, but guess what? At the end of the day, we paid that $850,000 claim. The only out-of-pocket that client had an effect to his future and goals and dreams was his $500 deductible to fix his car. And on top of that, he had added accident forgiveness. So his rate did not even go up from us paying $850,000 on his behalf. So that's what we do is we work and we have conversations with people to help them build and maintain the correct coverage because despite what all of the insurance companies spend trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars every year trying to convince you, every policy is not built the same. Every single policy out there, and we'll talk specifically about homeowners insurance just because of the demographic in the room today, um, every single policy out there has limits on these specific items. Every single policy, our policy, every policy out there, they're limited to about $1,000 or $2,000 in those areas. And then on top of that, company to company, even among the top companies, the policies are very different company to company because the, what you see on that quote is the limits of that policy. But if the limit is $1 million or $100,000, but you can never get it to pay out over $10,000, what is that limit really worth? It's how you get to those limits that separates insurance companies. There's not a bad insurance company out there. There's bad claims departments, but there's not a bad insurance company out there. It comes down to who you're talking to and who's advising your clients. And you want somebody to advise your clients that are adding value to what you're doing, giving them the peace of mind for today, tomorrow, 10 years from now, and 60 years from now, because that's what I do with my clients. I'm looking to earn their business for 60 years, not six months. And we're gonna do that by having those conversations getting to know people up front and, and doing that. Simple things like, the big thing that people talk about is liability. 
liability is not the same on every homeowner's policy. If you have a state farm policy, most likely, if you have a diving board or a slide, you have no liability coverage unless that agent was good like me and took the time to get to know you and learn about you. Uh, if you have uh, an all-state policy, their standard policy only covers actual cash value on roofs. If your roof is destroyed by a, by a storm, do you want to be out of pocket $5,000 because your roof is 20 years old? Um, if you have a dog, that's the most common exclusion from most policies. Either it's a big breed dog or the companies that do cover dogs, a lot of them only cover liability on property. So the, I, I tell you this because when I sit down and I, I get to know people, I really go, get into their world and help them understand where those holes are. There are very few, if any, people that I ever talk to that we do not find one area in their world that they thought was protected that is not. So I, I'm not looking to set, you know, I, I'm not a hardcore salesman. I, I'm not aggressively going after. I want to meet and talk to the right people that want to have a conversation and want to have peace of mind. And that's really what I do on a daily basis. So what, wh who do I want to meet? Because at the end of the day, that's really what it comes down to. I can talk, you know, I think this is going to be a surprise to some of you, but everybody has insurance. You all have some kind of insurance. You can pull out your phone and give me 10 names, and all those people have insurance too. At the end of the day, I want to talk to and advise anybody that's in your guys' circles. I'm happy to have a conversation, whether they're going through a claim with another company or something like that, and just help advise them. Because again, I'm looking to build relationships and earn business long term. And it might not happen this year. It might not happen for five years. But that's the, the, that's the way that I approach my business. So, But within that, I want to be specific. So Farmers is a premier company that really prides itself on building a product that's going to be with you long term. So it doesn't have a lot of those liability exclusions like other companies. It, and it, we have a policy that's built specifically to if you get a trampoline for your kids when they have grandkids 20 years from now, you don't find out you don't have coverage for that trampoline when you call me to file a claim. Um, so my ideal demographics. In front of you um, are a couple pieces of paper, but this is the one I want you to focus on right here. On the back of it, it has ideal demographics. And on the top left corner is a list of our, my ideal demographics. So I can help anybody, but people on this list, I can give them better coverage, better value, and, and give them better service and peace of mind. So ideally, I want to speak with homeowners, families, busy professionals, high net worth individuals, because these are the people that have multiple policies, they have more to protect, they find value in what we do. On top of that, if you have somebody that's in that list that you're thinking about, look at the list on the top right. That is professional designations that receive an additional 14%. So I can tell you right now, if they are homeowners, have multiple policies, and they're a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, a CPA, I, will pro I, will, I can almost guarantee you that I will give them much better coverage, give them the peace of mind that they deserve, and almost always we save them a ton of money because that is literally the epitome of our ideal demographic and very few companies can even come close to us. Even the, the cut rate discount companies that thrash their policies to get the price low, we're gonna beat them on these people every time. But at the end of the day, like I said, you can pull out your phone and give me 10 names right now. I don't want you to do that because everybody has insurance and it's hard to make that introduction unless you're in a financial services or real estate type position where you're talking about insurance every day or talking about risk every day or houses every day. So the best way to make, um, to make that introduction for me is, is to do the active listening. So obviously, you know, if you're talking to people about insurance, but more for the rest of you, the best way to send me a referral or to generate referrals for me is become a good active listener for me. Listen for people getting married, people getting engaged, people getting divorced, people moving to Arizona, people moving in general. All of these are things that they're going to be making changes to their insurance in this, and I want to be the person to help sit down and do it because you don't want a quoter who's just trying to sell them the cheapest thing and move on to the next person. You want to add value to the relationship with that person, and you want to surround them with a professional who cares about them and is going to do right by them. And uh, having said that, uh, that list is at the bottom there. And uh, thank you so much for your time today, and uh, have a great day.